what's poppin' yo? Yo Tap Dutch. It's gonna be a dark winter, yo. By the way, he's this is the same fellow who told you this is gonna end by Easter last time. This is the same fellow who told you that don't worry, we're gonna end this by the summer. We're about to go into a dark winter. A dark winter. September 24th being a big day and nothing happened it's a big nothing burger but over here in Europe something happened you know that Nord Stream it got they call it sabotaged uh, but really what it is it was bombed and the pipeline sits on the water so when it was bombed or sabotaged salt water comes in and you know that makes that the that makes the pipe useless forever. Like this is like big time sabotage. To me, this is a declaration of war. But from who? You know what I mean? Like who did this shit? Was it the Russians? Why would they do it? They have the button. They could just press the button and no more gas to Germany. Ukrainians, they don't have subs, do they? Why would Germany do this? I mean, let's not even go there. Day, day to turning off and pulling the plug on Nord Stream 2. You didn't mention it, you haven't mentioned it. As I already said, we are acting together. We are absolutely united and we will not taking different steps. We will do the same steps and they will be very, very hard to Russia and they should understand. You recognize someone now, Chancellor? Or the rest of Europe. There is one country that would. Um, Mr. President, I have wanted to ask you about this um, Nord Stream project that you've long opposed. You didn't mention it just now by name, nor did Chancellor Schultz. Did you receive assurances from Chancellor Schultz today that Germany will, in fact, pull the plug on this project uh, if Russia invades Ukraine. And did you discuss what the definition of invasion could be? Let me answer the first question first. If Germany, if, uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. What do, what, how, will you, how will you do that exactly, since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control? We will, uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. It's going to be a dark winter. And that, this reminds me of... Um, in Curacao, there's an oil refinery, which was owned by the Dutch, and Venezuela took it over at some point, I guess 20 or 30 years ago. And before the Dutch left, before the Dutch left, they made sure to fill up, this was a shell company, they made sure to fill up the, uh, the pipes with salt water. Thankfully, somebody who was paying attention shut the, vo the valves off and it wasn't completely destroyed. Reminds me of that. You know, and I think this is just uh, very shameful tactics, war tactics, at, this, at the cost of, uh, of people. But yeah, man, it's going to be a dark winter for Europe. Now there's definitely no option for gas to be flowing out of there. I'm sure we have, a, have another option for gas. And you know who the biggest profiteer is going to be from this, this, uh, this fiasco? It's going to be U.S. oil. We're about to go into a dark winter, a dark winter. And um, I don't know how China is going to play into it, but you know, it's one thing I've been saying for a long time, and and it and it came out on the news, is that China pretty much owns all, all not all. 
a lot of big chain stores, including including the the drugstore, um, the largest uh, drugs drugstore chain, Kruidvat. So I don't know how China's going to play into it um, if they're going to be selling gas to Europe. But the U.S. is definitely going to be making some money off of this shit. So you know where to put your stocks, where to put your money in your stocks. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, peace out. And I'm going to get ready for my dark winter. I got my uh, ceramic um, bowls and my candles. You know what I'm saying? I'm sort of, I'm going to start collecting my trading goods. Fuck, man. Warm blankets. Peace out, y'all.